Uh, this video blog is in a response to um, someone who just sent me an email. I got it when I was on the bus. <clears throat> I had gone for a run and apparently had emailed me. It was in regard to yesterday's um, economic update from May the 4th. And it was in regard to, um, sorry, I'm wearing my running glasses, so that's why I look like, I don't know what the hell, you know. Anyway, sorry. Um, in regard to my statements about Timothy McVeigh and that the difference between he and I were basically motive, motive and opportunity. Um, my answer is, you know, John, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean by Timothy McVeigh? Um, you have to understand, first of all, I have a fairly strong opinion that Timothy McVeigh was a patsy. You know, I'm not talking about like Lee Harvey Oswald and, you know, the second shooter and all that crap. I think that this guy, and I know this guy, uh, not personally, I know him in the sense that I was there. I was physically there in the 90s. I just got out of the military. I was the first of the generation to join the military that was not from Vietnam. And yes, I joined because I got a free education out of the deal, but primarily I, I really wanted to serve my com country. And I served it proudly. And I had plans of long-term plans um, for my uh, my career in the military. And uh, after Desert Storm, you know, we won, you know, with all that stuff. And Timothy McVeigh and myself and many other people of my era who, jo who were voluntarily enlisted in the United States military got hamstrung and were, you know, basically laid off, you know. And that left us both frustrated and un unaware of what we needed to do. Um, I was going to college at the time, I believe Tim, Timothy McVeigh was probably going to college or something. He had the GI Bill just like I did. And the difference between him and me, besides the fact that he was on the West Coast, Midwest, West Coast, and I was on the East Coast, is the fact that, you know, we were both frustrated by what had transpired. No job when we got out of the military. Um, no sense of real direction as far as what we were supposed to do. And I was lucky enough to have people around me in school that directed me towards education and critical thinking. And Mr. McVeigh got caught up with a group of people that were just as frustrated as he was and were directed by something different. I honestly and fully believe, just as I believe that Randy Weaver was hooked up to, you know, screw up an organization that the government found too risky regardless of what your opinions are on the Aryan Nation and you know mine, I'm Jewish. Um, but it's funny to find that, you know, Timmy there was, you know, you have the Randy Weaver situation followed by David Koresh and Waco and this very messy trial going on with Randy Weaver, which he gets acquitted because of the botched up circumstances by the government and obvious entrapment. And the government needs to somehow, you know, look like the white-hatted good guys, the constitutional, you know, purveyors of the law, and they create their own terrorist. And they put Timothy McVeigh in a bus, in a truck, and make him the button man. That's what I'm trying to say. Timothy McVeigh was just like every other 20 year old in 1991. We didn't have a job. We believed in the government. We still believe in the government, those of us who are still alive. 
and we believe in the Constitution. When I say government, I mean we believe in the Constitution. And we really believed in the Constitution. If you've ever spent time in the military between 1983 and 1996, you could walk down the street, find somebody in uniform, and ask them what, you know, what are the amendments to the Constitution of the United States and what they were, and they could tell you. Not because we were told how to do this, this is not something, but when we swore to uphold the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, we took that to heart. Some of, us, some of us, like me, had taken more of an academic leaning and focused my, you know, our studies and, and here we are. You know, I'm 41 years old. It's been 18 years since Ruby Ridge and I think almost 16 years since Oklahoma City. The atrocities that happened in Oklahoma City were due to the fact, not because Timothy McVeigh was some psychopath, schizophrenic, who was a genius at mixing, you know, chemical manure and turning it into bombs. No, he was a patsy thrown in a truck. Yes, did he consp conspire to get back at the government? Yes. Should he gone to prison for conspiracy to, to, to destroy a federal building? Yes. Should he have died and be put to death for single-handedly blowing up that building? No. But unfortunately, unfortunately, he did. What happened in Oklahoma City, what happened on 9-11, I can tell you, no evidence, but I can tell you, without a shadow of a doubt, that was meant to distract the American people away from the fact that the government was getting too powerful and too out of control. If you don't believe me, join the United States military for four years. Go to a foreign country and see how many people die. And see how, you know, see how much, you know, the military and the government gives a shit. Then come out of that military, place yourself back in civilian life, and see how that messes with your head permanently. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, this person who made the comment on my previous video is one of the few, if only the one. Probably because most of the people that watch my videos have either been foreign uh, prior military or have known prior military personnel and people. And they have pretty much expressed this, which I have just said. I do not condone mass murder and killing of children. This government has done it. We have seen it on CNN. We have celebrated it and cheered for it. We, the American people, are just as guilty as you may think Timothy McVeigh is guilty of killing innocent women and children. We all have blood on our hands. The only difference between Timothy McVeigh and me, as I've said in the past, is that I was in the right place at the right time and people directed me away in my moment of frustration from possibly hooking up with extremists and directed me towards education and towards enlightenment. That's the point I was trying to make. We are all possible Timothy McVeighs and it's all it takes is a couple of people a couple of undercover government agents to get your head rolling and the next thing you know you've been inculcated into a horrible situation which you have no other way out except to take your own life or have them take it for you and that's the point I was trying to make about the difference between me and Timothy McVeigh hope I answered your question